Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today I am very excited as usual but double excited, doubly excited because we are going to start one of the most important shlokas of the Srimad Bhagavatam. In fact, this is very relevant for us because this talks of Kali Yuga and we are in the 10th verse from the first canto first chapter okay so there you go if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you can always go to my website down in the description section and if you have not watched the other videos from this playlist of Srimad Bhagavatam then please watch and till now we were seeing how the sages of Naimi Sharanya have praised Sut Goswami because of his ultimate position because he has humbly with a lot of obedience and submission heard from his spiritual masters and therefore that makes him very qualified and also he's very sense controlled and he is aware of all the scriptural truths there you go om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya Tenth shloka is very famous. It is very frequently quoted. Prayena pale pausha sabhya kalavam asmin yuge jana manda sumanda matayo manda bhagya upadrita. Translation O learned one, in this iron age of Kali, men have but short lives. They are quarrelsome, lazy, misguided, unlucky, and above always disturbed. <laughs> the last. The purport. Or should we read the translation once again? I think we should do. Oh, learned one, in this iron age of Kali, men have but short lives. They are quarrelsome, lazy, misguided, unlucky, and above all, always disturbed six things are mentioned here the last is the most prominent i feel let's go to the purport the devotees of the lord are always anxious for the spiritual improvement of the general public when the sages of namishranya analyze the state of the affairs of the people in this age of kali they foresaw that men would live short lives in Kali Yuga, the duration of life is shortened, not so much because of insufficient food, but because of irregular habits. By keeping regular habits and eating simple food, any man can maintain his health. Overeating sense, over sense gratification, over dependence on another's mercy and artificial standards of living sap the very vitality of human energy. Therefore, the duration of life is shortened. The people of this age are also very lazy, not only materially, but in the matter of spiritual realization. It doesn't say they are lazy when it comes to spiritual matters. Even materially, they are lazy. The human life is especially meant for self-realization. That is to say, man should come to know what he is what the world is and what the supreme truth is human life is a means by which the living entity can end all the miseries of the hard struggle for life in material existence and by which he can return to godhead his eternal home but due to a bad system of education men have no desire for self-realization even if they come to know about it, they unfortunately become victims of misguided teachers. In this age, men are victims not only of different political creeds and parties, but also of many types of many different types of sense gratificatory diversions, such as cinemas, sports, gambling, clubs, mundane libraries, bad associations, smoking, drinking, cheating, pilfering, bickerings, and so on. Their minds are always disturbed and full of anxieties. 
due to so many different engagements in this age many unscrupulous men manufacture their own religious faiths which are not based on any revealed scriptures and very often people who are addicted to sense gratification are attracted by such institutions consequently in the name of religion so many sinful acts are been carried on that the people in general have neither peace of mind nor health of the body the student a brahmachari communities the student communities are no longer being maintained and householders do not observe the rules and regulations of the grihastha ashram consequently the so called vanaprasthas and sanyasis who come out of such grihastha ashrams are easily deviated from the rigid path in the kaliyuga the whole atmosphere is surcharged with faithlessness men are no longer interested in spiritual values material sense gratification is now the standard of civilization wow golden statement <laughs> for the maintenance of such material civilizations man has formed complex nations and communities and there is a constant strain of hot and cold wars between these different groups hot war is referring to the uh, world wars which happened in 40s world war 2 and cold war is referring to the america and the russia ussr conflict of course it has become very difficult therefore to raise the spiritual standard due to the present distorted values of the human society the sages of naimi sharanya are anxious to disentangle all fallen souls and here they are seeking the remedy from shila sudbo swami there is the purport one of the most beautiful purports i have seen all right so what's the crux of this purport the crux of this purport is that the people of kaliyuga they are not interested in spiritual practices and therefore because of that everything is going down even they are materially not happy you see people who have so much wealth they are miserable who do not have wealth they are also miserable okay so sometimes people think that if we have more money we will be happy and sometimes people say that having more money gives you more pain so have less money no irrespective of you have more or less money if you don't have spiritual focus in your life you will be miserable having more or less of that money will not give you happiness anyways right so therefore also it's mentioned here in the name of religion so many sinful acts are carried out that people have lost peace of mind or health of the body you know like for example there's a lot of animal slaughter which goes on and sometimes people from certain communities and certain religions say from every religion i am saying within hinduism also there are such people within islam within christianity you know they say that oh like for example in hinduism they say oh we are killing the animals and we are offering to goddess kali you know then the similar things they say that we are for islam they say you know we are doing qurbani well this is all sheer nonsense whichever religion it is how can god be happy if you kill their children kill kill his children all right that that's that is never what god said but we twist and turn the verses of the scriptures and we give our own interpretation that is why the whole world is suffering there are disasters there are calamities and therefore we are not happy the health has gone down you see the 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 makeup industry you know, the beauty industry is the uh, is a billion trillion dollar business why why in the universe is just some powder some chemicals such such a big fuss for people these days because in kaliyuga there is no beauty all the beauty is going down so when when we look when we see somebody and say oh you are looking very beautiful you are looking very handsome what does this mean essentially we are telling to that person oh how beautifully you have hidden the dirt which you have in your body yes because if nobody would apply makeup then you would not uh, want to see anybody's face because 
they would not look very attractive and then people have attached their self esteem to these beauty products you know instagram facebook you know uploading photos therefore what happens is when other people don't like their posts or like their photos you know then they get depressed they are trying to pretend somebody who they were not who they can never be also and who they should not be also and then they will follow uh, celebrities you know in, in, in instagram who will you know, apply makeup for tons and tons and tons and hours you know sometimes even days and they will wear such fancy and you know costly garments and, and then the other people the normal people they are saying oh next time i should have this jeans which he is wearing next time i should have this uh, you know this uh, dress which she is wearing in her movies right so there is bad association everywhere gambling is there bad association cheating drinking smoking all these are rampant all right so now the question is what is the solution to all these things the solution is very simple it is described in the last verse uh, sorry the last sentence of the purpo the sages of naimi sharanya are anxious to disentangle all fallen souls and here they are seeking the remedy from shila sud goswami so the biggest 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 remedy sud goswami is going to unravel very soon and therefore the remedy is that we keep listening to the shrimad bhagavatam and we keep reading it and we keep hearing and taking association of great souls who are who are well versed in the shrimad bhagavatam not only by theoretical knowledge but by their dint of spiritual practices and their uh, and the blessings that they have got from their gurus okay, only then we can get freedom from these problems which are there otherwise our life is heading on for a disaster imagine dying at the end of your life by being disturbed you see what's written here always disturb so if you if you want to be disturbed always then do not read the shrimad bhagavatam because then you will not be disturbed anymore all right so this is one of the most crucial purports this gives a uh, uh, an introduction to the kaliyuga and there are many predictions of kaliyuga which is mentioned in the 12th canto which we will need decades to reach but hopefully we reach one day <laughs> and therefore this verse is very important this is a very crucial verse and this is one of my favorites so there you go quarrel short lives quarrel some lazy misguided unlucky and above always disturb six characteristics of kaliyuga and how to get rid of or what's the solution how to handle these right and at the end i would like to emphasize on one point which is association whoever you 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 are who you associate with so it is very 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 essential that during the weekends we stop wasting time watching tv or internet or wasting time um, gossiping about others and go and associate ourselves with the spiritual community and only then we can have spiritual progress so spiritual progress without the help of the guru and spiritual community where we find god brothers god sisters is simply an illusion it's it's cheating basically i know so many people who say that oh i am just sitting and doing this mantra in my home i am i don't have any guru i i i, I don't visit any community you know i'm just doing it myself well that's good to start but you cannot obtain perfection like that because the current of kaliyuga is so dangerous it will drag you and pull you like anything you will be thinking oh i was chanting this mantra but then what happened suddenly you know something comes some allurement comes some suffering comes and it's like you are clean bowl washed away all your spiritual practices are finished you are not doing any of them anymore so therefore the most important thing in spiritual life is not to chant mantras is not to read the bhagavatam is not to go to holy places is not to learn shlokas it's none of these the most important is to be in the association of other similar spiritually inclined personalities right and take their association very seriously and inquire from them how to advance spiritually when we do that only then we can have spiritual perfection right or at least elevation 
or at least star okay thank you very much see you soon with the next video